Hey guys, what's going on? It's I Touch Stuff here that's spoke with Zero, and today I'm going to show you guys how to fix mobile substrate on a jailbroken iOS 4.3 device. Now, uh, this is following up to my previous iOS 4.3 jailbreak tutorial. If you haven't seen it yet, you can go check it out. It is a tethered jailbreak. Um, the untethered jailbreak should be released sometime next week, hopefully. And uh, let's continue on with this. So for those of you who don't know what Mobile Substrate is, Mobile Substrate is just what allows us to run some of the tweaks and good stuff that comes from Cydia. Now, Apple released something in iOS 4.3 called ASLR, or Address Space Layout Randomization. And basically, it's to prevent um, some vulnerabilities known in the iOS uh, software. So with this, it sort of blocked and broke Mobile Substrate a little bit. So a, a lot of the apps here Insidia don't work. So here's how to fix it thanks to Soric, although it's not directly Insidia, so we're going to need to do a few things. First off, if you don't have iFile already, go download iFile. You can go ahead and install it. It is a few dollars, so uh, if you want to spend the money, you can. If you know how to get a cracked version of this, you can go ahead and do so, um, but that's on your own risk. Next, what you want to do is go ahead and search for Safari. And the first link here should be Safari Download Manager. It's in blue text. And basically, this is what we need uh, for the other part of the tutorial. It is $5. So again, if you want to go ahead and crack this on your own, though I don't recommend it, you can. Um, and once you have these two files, you can continue on. I think Safari Download Manager asks you to reboot. So since this is a tethered jailbreak, make sure you have iBooty ready to go ahead and boot up if your device um, boots up and CD doesn't work for some reason. So now you want to go into Safari from here, open up a new web page. It's going to be redmondpie.com. And here we go. The first link is how to fix mobile substrate in Cydia after iOS 4.3 jailbreak guide. Click on that. And here is where there is a link that uh, is just a little long to type in. So if you scroll down a little bit more here, you can see now navigate to this link. So click on this, and it says download target is the first one, and you'll notice that you also have a new icon down here. This is from Safari Download Manager, so you can see all of your downloads here. It's a very nifty little app. So download this link, and you want to click download, or on the previous page, uh, download from target. You can go here. It's very small, so it downloaded very quickly. Click on it, open an iFile. Now you want to go to installer, and if you have a result code of zero, that's good, because now we can go ahead and click done. Now we can go to Cydia, then go to manage settings, make sure you are a developer, click done. Click the search button, search for mobile substrate, two words, click on it. And if you haven't installed it previously, then you can go ahead in the upper right hand corner, hit the install button, confirm, and you'll be updated to the latest version of mobile substrate. But if you've already installed it, it would have um, automatically updated. And you can see here the latest version is 0 0.93367 plus 6G629 uh, FOFA. I think that's what it is. Um, it's a little difficult to read, so if you're on that, then you're all good. Most of the apps should work now and see all the tweaks unless the app itself hasn't been implemented for iOS 4.3. This is how to fix the broken mobile substrate in iOS 4.3. It's been I Touch Stuff here that's below the zero. Please give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.